so uh, let's discuss about engineers india limited and the information and document of engineers india limited so this company is a wonderful company very good public sector and uh, consultancy company and going for placement in various campuses bahut se campuses mein placement ke liye ja rahi hai engineers india limited so one thing you should do is you should visit the website and you should know about this company that is what we are going to do here and this document which i am going to discuss with you you can take it download it from the website of your pedia education so let me discuss now i think this is visible to you you can see this uh, document here so engineers india limited is a navratna company so what do you mean by navratna company uh, so what is the financial autonomy navratna company enjoys that sometime you ask you what is the difference in difference between maharatna navratna and mini ratna company so what uh, financial independence in decision making what is that range uh, of this uh, kind of companies you know engineering mega projects for an energized tomorrow that is their you know uh, punch line so mega projects you will get opportunity to work on mega projects so sometime we'll ask you why you want to join engineers india limited say sir uh, i will get opportunity to work on mega projects uh, who is the cmd of this company that kind of questions can be asked so shrimati vartika shukla is the cmd of this company her background you should see from the website also engineers india limited sometimes they tend to ask you the vision and mission statement of uh, the company and also vision and mission statements help you to frame the answer why you want to join these companies like uh, this is a total solution consultancy organization sir and it works on the challenging problems and i will get opportunity to work on diversified challenging problems and to work in mega projects so customer delight through innovation so innovation is the part of this company uh, so i want to lead a career in which i work on innovative projects unlike other psus where you know there is a more kind of routine kind of activities here you tend to work on the projects for which innovation is required so creation of the wealth is another important thing so uh, you know that is uh, another reason why you can think of joining it and then comes to some information so uh, uh, like under which ministry it comes and when was it set up and uh, you know what kind of sectors it works into they will ask you what are the business verticals in which it works infrastructure water and waste management solar and nuclear so as per your engineering background mechanical civil etc you can always think of which domain you want to tell total solution engineering consultancy company providing you know design engineering construction integrated project management concept to commissioning all these things actually will help you to frame the answer why you want to join this company you know this follow very high quality and safety standards so like uh, occupational and health uh, uh, management and you know various kind of standard organization certifications it has got all the these kind of certification uh, from international standardized organizations so iso uh, 14001 iso 9001 i think this is for quality this is for environment so all these kind of certification it com this company has so specialist uh, uh, services are provided in heat and mass transfer and environmental engineering suppose you are a civil engineer you can always say about that where is the headquarter of uh, eil that you should know and where is its r and d center that you should know and uh, this is uh, uh, the company was established as a joint venture between uh, it has established sorry a joint venture which is rama gundam fertilizer and chemical limited rfcl uh, there is a recruitment for rfcl also Uh, with so rfcl is created with nfl national fertilizer limited and fertilizer corporation of india uh, so ramagundam fertilizer plant is created by uh, joint venture navratna status was accorded to it by 2000 uh, by in 2014 so this uh, you know some some information about this taken from the website to uh, so where eil contributed what are the various projects where the, is the application where contribution of eal you will say that sir 20 out of 23 refineries eal has you know provided some kind of consultancy in this mega petrochemical complexes in india wherever they are make, built they are built with the help of engineers india limited so this all are basically in the domains in which eal is working now as i told you eal has uh, you know certain business areas so what are those business areas you need to remember these names 
so take this document and revise uh, remember these names where it is working it is working into all these domains and depending upon your own interest suppose you are interested to work in ethanol bio biofuels you can always mention that what kind of uh, engineering consultancy service it provides to the clients and who are its clients that also you should know so all these oil companies petrochemical and many other uh, organization they are the clients of engineers india limited it provides product process design engineering supply chain management project management construction management so all these services are provided and you know this uh, eal is technology driven organization which believes in uh, you know investment in technology and that means r and d so r and d headquarter is in gurgaon and uh, it has many patent on its name what are the various business verticals you can you know go to the website and there you can find hydrocarbon chemical and fertilizer mining power infrastructure that is how they have divided their all business verticals so they are going to ask you uh, you know the question that uh, what are the various domains in which engineers india limited works so you will say works in hydrocarbon sir chemical and fertilizer mining and metallurgy power infrastructure and then details are also there like in infrastructure you will get further division at infrastructure and water and waste management so civil engineers can think of that chemical and fertilizer may petrochemical and fertilizer similarly power may you will get some information related to power like thermal nuclear solar power projects hydrocarbon may petroleum refinery offshore onshore oil and gas pipeline strategic storage port and terminals mining may also uh, they are into this and uh, there are you know uh, non ferrous metallurgical and uh, projects plants in of alumina aluminum copper zinc etc so they are the their uh, projects related to metallurgical domains other than business domains service domains now what are the various services they provide the services in technology uh, you know pre feed and feed project management supply chain management construction and supplied other kind of specialized services so these are the uh, areas in which they provide you the consultancy so project management consultant ei is a basically project management consultant and provides uh, management services required for smooth implementation of complex projects uh, you know uh, through these contractors so you please go through all this uh, information provided to you uh, in this document and uh, uh, following objectives what so what are the objectives of eil meeting uh, you know international standards of quality as i told you iso 9001 kind of certifications are acquired by this and to complete the project within time uh, bring the value proposition to investment decision uh, adopting efficient work methodologies operation uh, you know reliability facilities reliable facilities are to be created so all these are objectives of eil now what are the major projects Now, depending upon which part of india you are from you need not to remember all the projects but yes sometime he ask you do you know any of the project if you are from bengal haldia petrochemical complex for india is one of the sir i know uh, at manali refinery expansion project and refinery if you are from manali panipat if you are from panipat uh, in haryana you should know panipat refinery so uh, which part of india you are from just re remember the name of that project not all the projects but yes you should know some of the projects of eil how eil is working in the domain of environmental protection because eil is working in hydrocarbon chain so which whichever company is working in hydrocarbon chain the one of the question which normally is asked is that are you aware uh, you know, what kind of uh, you know environmental protection measures are taken by the company so you can read through this what are the environmental uh measures taken by this company so that you can answer this question in the uh, interview that uh, eil is working in this direction also i told you quality management is one of the uh, objective of this company so iso 9001 2015 certified for quality management system uh, so that is uh, this company's iso 9001 2015 certified that means it is total quality conscious and uh, how it and does that how it attains that measures please go through this particular thing okay so uh, quality is all about customer so you will go through this and you will read it now the last part is the same uh, which are the maharatna companies in india that you should know and how do you classify maharatna navaratna mini ratna how do you classify it into that so and your company is uh, uh, navaratna company 
so then you should immediately come to you know criteria of navratna how to become navratna and what are the uh, things uh, related to that so that everything is mentioned in this document and uh, the you know how you become navratna or mini ratna that is based upon how much money you can invest uh, if independently from the uh, government i mean if you have uh, financial autonomy to take a decision then accordingly you become navratna and all like maharatna company can average worth of this uh, and uh, you know you should uh, turnover should be like this so these are some of the criteria to become navratna so navratna company can invest up to 1000 crore rupees it can invest without seeking the government approval uh, mini ratna can invest up to 500 crore and maharatna can invest up to 5000 crore or 15% of its net worth without seeking government's approval that is how you have to know so uh, since uh, engineers india limited is a navratna company so what do you understand by navratna company you will say sir navratna maharatna mini ratna uh, st- status are provided as per your as per your uh, net worth and also uh, because you are under some ministry but you enjoy some financial autonomy so up to 1000 crore rupees of investment you can do without seeking permission Uh, from the government uh, before making this uh, decision that is what you should know uh, go through this all uh, information related to disinvestment because uh, government is talking about you know privatization of the public sector so you should also know your views they will try to know in interview that why you want to join uh, because the moment you say uh, why you want to join public this um, uh, eil you say sir is a public sector and i want to join it next question comes is No, but the public sectors are going to become privatized so why you want to join something which is going to become privatized uh, national asset monetization pipeline was something which government talked about in the last budget that is 2021 budget so 6 lakh lakh crore of uh, uh, core of assets of central government uh, over the four year period will be basically monetized that is the that is the, this pipeline and you know in that uh, all these things were important so Uh, i think you should go for uh, this uh, you should understand what is the meaning of it and this document you please go through so whosoever is going for engineers india limited campus placement drives go through this uh, read through, through this document why you want to join engineers india limited why you want to join public sector what do you mean by some terms that you go through this document read the through this document and i am very sure you will uh, be in better position to answer questions in your interview 